And you're gonna notice here I've got the backgrounds I flew in earlier in my other lesson uh she saw in the school. So here. Sounds pretty good. So I'm gonna bring something a little louder, we can hear it better maybe. So I got these three background parts, sort of chopped them up, got them perfect, cut them, placed them in. So I'm trying to find a perfect one, but a little bit of a cymbal thing going on here in this track where you can hear that going right and it's like crazy. Don't want it, don't need it. So what we'll tend to do here in the recording biz is that we're going to say, hey, look, we want to get rid of that. So the producers here with me, I'm going like, okay, man, let's get rid of that. We don't need that noise, bro. So I'm going to get back in here and sort of get rid of this noise. And what I'll do is I'll go back in and I'll check that where that noise is at and I'm going to listen over and over. So my vocals are heading into this one track. I've got them subgrouped. I got them where I've got these vocals going on. They're subgrouped. They're feeding into my main background vocal group. Okay? So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to pull up an EQ. I want to get me a one band EQ. Because that frequency is in some range I want to find. And I pretty much know what it is. I did my work before I started the lesson. So anyway, what you want to do is we're going to go back here. We got this little peak going on. I got my Q set up here. So I make my Q real tight. Get this Q tight first to start out with. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to position this and go down. So I'm trying to get rid of this frequency. I'm not trying to add to it. I'm not trying to boost it. We're trying to cut it out. You got me? Cut that thing out. So next what I want to do is I want to find where it's at. So I've got my track set up here. We're in loop play. We have the part where it's at. We'll press want play in the space bar. Be, be, and then we're going to move our frequency around. Be, be, it's somewhere around here. So I made this stretch a little bit. It's got less, see? Now, just that sounds really boring and really crazy. I'm going back. I'm going to get a little longer playback so I get the real feel of it. Now, it's still there. But let me go back press the bypass. It's much louder. Vocals got a little more presence there. But I want to get rid of the noise more so I want to have the vocals in there. I want to cut that noise back so when actually the music's in, it won't be that present in the track. I'm going to add a few more flavors in to sort of hide it, but actually to just get the vocals to sound as one nice chorus and widen it out some. So, you want to compare them back and forth. We have the bypass where it's not in. And we have no bypass. Much more quiet. See that? So sometimes there may be a standing frequency that you want to get rid of that's just standing out too much. Well, that's how we do it. We get a one band EQ. We find the frequency that's bad. In this case, it's 3.34 kilohertz. So I got my Q set to 4.42. Now I'm pretty much uh, into this thing because I like doing it sometimes with anything. It's sort of understanding EQs. But what I did here is I made sure I cut that frequency out and I cut it by about 18 dB. To make sure I got rid of it somewhat and I want to hear how it sounds in the track. So let me turn the volume down. I want to make sure it's not too loud. Always be aware of your volume where it's at. And then I'm going to press command here. Yep, get rid of my solos. So it's not too bad now. But what I want to do next is I want to add a chorus to this. So I've got that there and I'm going to make sure this is going to be right there. I'm going to put a chorus maybe right here between the EQ and my compressor. This is a compressor. Yes, it's my compressor. So sometimes I want to EQ the frequency out first. What's it? EQ rather. And put the compressor right here before the EQ. So I compress, get the right what I want to have there, and then I have my EQ. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to move this EQ. I'm going to grab it right here and move it over here to that insert. And here I'm going to add another insert. I'm going to pull out a chorus. Here we go. We've got our IAR Advanced Instrument Research Chorus here. This is the default setting. And we're going to hear it back with the background vocal right here. So 
So it's got that nice flavor to it, a little darker there, not so much the highs we had before. And of course we cut the little frequency out, but we can get that back in pretty quickly. But this is just to give you an idea of what a chorus sounds like. So we got a chorus in, I'll bypass it. So it spreads it out a little more, it's wider, it's a good feel. It's so warmth in the track with that background vocal. And I like it. So what I want to do next probably is go back here to my first EQ. See, I want to provide some more presence in that vocal. So I did cut out that one frequency. I'm going to go right back here. So I'll just move this over. Get a frequency. Get some more highs. In. more highs in there so I brought a little more presence in the female vocal I added by 8 dB at the other frequency the other one was at 3.35 or 3.4 and now I went to 6.68 kilohertz uh, about uh, 3 kilohertz up and I want to get a little more higher end but I made my EQ Q to be more round like a little mountain there see that and I can also peek it out somewhat to find that part I want to get Since I just to make it more rounder, we get more of a rounder appeal, a more rounder effect on that vocal. We are bringing up more of those highs in there, and the chorus is widening it, so it's not going to be standing out so much out front. It's a little darker, but it's much better than having that noise on there we had before. So, we'll compare this again, see if our producer likes it, and if so, we'll continue on from there.